Well, hi there, and welcome to our Sunday Hymn Time. And yes, I've got a hymn. goes back to 1869. Mm-hmm. And you know, I was looking at the calendar, and I see that, uh, Lord willing, next Sunday will be St. Patrick's Day. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Well, you may have to find my little green hat and maybe a shirt. All right, I'll make sure I wear a shirt, but whether it's green or not, we'll see. But maybe we better do an Irish song uh, next Sunday. Uh, but uh, for this time around, you know, I was thinking uh, this year, Easter arrives on March 31st. And so we're in this um, preparation time, I suppose you could say. A lot of people uh, will uh, even commemorate this season of Lent. And uh, we think about uh, the cross. And um, I wanted to do a song about the cross. Uh, and it's written by Fanny Crosby, 1869. And uh, the song is known by a couple of different titles. One is, well, first of all, the first line of the song, Jesus, keep me near the cross. And uh, sometimes it's called in the cross. And uh, this time of year, yeah, I want to stay near the cross, the message of, of what happened that day when Jesus died on that cross. Yes, we think of Good Friday, but the good part came later, right, on Resurrection Day, Easter Sunday morning. And uh, he purchased, he purchased our, well, our salvation, uh, our, our right to uh, eternal life. And uh, it was all purchased at the cross. And so I kind of like to stay near that cross, I like to keep it in my mind. And uh, especially this time of year, a lot of people are abandoning the message of it, but I'm hoping you won't. And I'm also hoping you'll sing along with me on this one. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There, a precious fountain, free to all, a healing stream flows. From Calvary's mountain In the cross In the cross Be my glory ever Till my ransomed soul Shall find rest Beyond the river Near the cross, a trembling soul, love and mercy found me. There, the bright and morning star shed his beams around me. In the cross. For me, help me walk from day to day with its shadow o'er me in the cross, in the cross. the 
golden strand It's just beyond the river In the cross, in the cross Be my glory ever Till my ransom soul Beyond the river Jesus keep me near the cross in that cross in that cross will my glory be for ever yes till my ransom soul shall find rest beyond that river the message of the cross in fact uh, the apostle Paul was gripped by it he changed his religion, you know, when he met Christ. Yes, he met Christ in a very dramatic way. And he just said, wow. And his whole life was spent trying to convince people that Jesus really is the way, the truth, and the life, just as Jesus said he was. And he said, may I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. He said that in uh, Galatians chapter 6. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, um, he talks about uh, being sent, being sent by Christ to preach the gospel. And he said, not with wisdom and eloquence, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. And you know, I think I think about that now, you know, because, uh, well, I pretty much do a sermon pretty much every Sunday now at a church. And, you know, you never want to, uh, well, first of all, you don't want people to be bored. Uh, well, I figure, you know, I don't want to endure a dry sermon. Why should you? But I never want people to come away from that thinking, wow, that guy's a good speaker. No, no, I want them to come away thinking, no, isn't, isn't Christ a great savior? Um, and, and so Paul was that same way. He wasn't interested in wisdom and eloquence. No, no, don't want to empty the cross of Christ of its power. We have too many clever pulpiteers in the world these days. No, the message of the cross. Now, Paul says it's foolishness. But he said it's foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. It's the power of God there in that cross. Everything changed on that Friday. And, uh, well, you know, I was just thinking, let me encourage you with these words. Uh, and this isn't to promote mediocrity, but, you know, most of us, we're just regular folks, right? And, and Paul even said that here in, in 1 Corinthians. It's in chapter 1 if you want to read the rest of it. But he just says, brothers and sisters, Think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were, of you were wise by human standards. Uh, not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are, so that no one may boast before him. Mm hmm. You think you're too clever for this message? No, no. And it is because of him that you are in Christ Jesus, who has become for us wisdom from God. That is our righteousness, holiness, and redemption. Do you realize that we come to Christ? When we come to Christ, he becomes for us wisdom from God, and we receive righteousness, holiness, and redemption. Oh, it's all from him. <laughs> Nothing we drum up. But he says, therefore, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. May I never boast except in the cross of Christ. It's changed everything in my life. 
I hope it has in yours too. And, uh, and if you haven't uh, experienced that, well, reach out to him. Reach out to Christ. Uh, maybe during this Lent season as we get closer to Easter time. Oh, I don't know. That little church in your neighborhood? Hey, maybe check him out uh, this Easter time. I don't know. But in the cross, that's where I want to glory. That's where I want to glory. Jesus, keep me near that cross. Hey, may the Lord richly bless you on this Sunday morning. Don't know if you can uh, hear it in the background, but I can actually hear a morning dove outside. Oh, right on. All right, take care.